Okay, guys, so the recording got cut off a little bit, but what I basically did was I went through all our prospects, I decided the ones I wanted to give away, and this is pretty much the package I've laid out for Anaheim, and the player I want to get from Anaheim, <laughs> no, it's not Radic Dvorak, but it is Lucas Spiza. I mean, he's a pretty good defenseman, he's only 22 years old, and he's got three years left at 2.175, I mean, and if you look at him, he's a four-star potential, Again, only 22 years old and an 84 overall. So I think this guy would really help our team uh, right now and going forward. So we're going to go after Lucas Pisa. And I haven't tried to trade him or anything yet. I just, the recording got cut off. So this is pretty much what I went through uh, to get to this point. And yes, so we're going to go after Lucas Spiza. And it looks like this trade is league approved. So let me just go through Almond. Uh, pretty much he was a two and a half star guy. Uh, fourth line grinder right now, but only 71 years old and 71 overall and 23 years old. So pretty much he's not going to have a spot on our team anytime soon. So might as well get rid of him while we can. And then this Broda guy, he's 22 years old. Again, two and a half stars, only 66 overall. So again, probably not going to be in our team anytime soon. And also the, the reason I wanted to trade Colin is because we got Steven Weiss, of course. So we wouldn't really... And we already have uh, guys like Brodziak, Rupp, Mitchell, and Kanopka that can play center for us. So we wouldn't really need a $3.3 million guy to play third-line center right now. And then a second-round pick just to make sure the, the value is pretty, pretty up there. And I had to add Dvorak and Elkins on this side uh, to, for there to be enough players to go through. So that's the second trade I wanted to make today, and it's Spiza. Uh, and Dvorak pretty much for Almond, Broda, Cullen, and a second round pick. Let's see if it goes through. Okay, I don't know what's up with this recording today, but yeah, I got cut off again. Basically what they said was, uh, they weren't willing to take on the salary of Matt Cullen, okay? Sorry, I didn't let you guys see that, but that's pretty much what they said. Uh, so we're gonna have to switch out Matt Cullen for someone else. Uh, and I'm thinking of Kyle Brodziak, yeah, they want this guy. He's kind of the same player as Matt Cullen. I mean, what, they're both, they're both 80 overall, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I do like Brodziak's contract, though. Uh, I think it's 2 million at 3 years, so that's pretty good. Oh, you know what, that's actually 2.6, so you know what, we're not going to do that. Uh, and we're going to take Cullen off, and add in Brodziak, and see if this goes through. They want all four of these guys, so... They didn't want Cullen because of his salary, let's see if they take this... Yes, they do. This seems like a sweet proposal on our end, so on behalf of the Anaheim, Anaheim Ducks organization, I accept. Alright, guys, so sorry, sorry that the recording got cut off, but we made the two trades I wanted to. And I'm quickly going to go through this team and do a little adjusting, so give me one second. Okay, guys, so I had to cut that out. Pretty much what I did, I'll show you. I pretty much went through my whole team, uh, position by position, and gave away... Uh, pretty much any guy that I didn't want to be on my team. Yes, it's going to be hard to crack my roster. So now pretty much every guy on our team either is on our team roster right now or has a chance to make our team. So pretty much they're either on our team right now or is a prospect that I like. Uh, so yeah, so these guys... Uh, this guy's only 21, that's why he stayed. And then right wings, we don't have these guys. And defense, yep, all these guys either on our team or our prospects. Same with goalies. So I pretty much traded all the old veteran guys that were like two or three stars, white stars. And yeah, I got some draft picks for them. And yeah, so anyways, now that we're done trading, let's go back to our roster and see what we have now. So, forwards. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 forwards with Rupp. And then we got Kanopka. So... Either Rupp or Kanak is going to be our, our fourth line center, looks like, right now. Uh, shooting. Yeah, the Rupp's definitely a better option, but Kanaka does have the better face-off. So let me know who we should use for that. Uh, left wings. Uh, sorry, defensemen. Yes, so we got Suter, Spiza, Gilbert, Clark, Spurgeon, and Stoner. Yeah, Prosser and Falk can go down. So yeah, the only guy I'm questioning right now is Stoner. I mean, he's only a depth defenseman, 27 years old. Um, and yeah, then for goalies, we have Backstrom and Harding. So, so we'll probably have a good, pretty good AHL team this year. But uh, yeah, for the NHL, 
Uh, I'd say our forwards are going to be fine. It's just our defense that could use another thing. I didn't want to make too many trades before the season started, just because it is kind of cheap. And yeah, some of you might think that trading all those guys away for picks that I did earlier is cheap too. But you know what? That's just the way it's going to go, because those guys really had no space on our team. And you know, we got some draft picks for them. So let's just quickly go to edit lines. I'll do best lines for now. And yeah, that's what the computer thinks we should do. They scratched Kanopka. And yeah, they got Mitchell, Dvorak, and um, and Rupp, and then Cullen, Setaguchi, Clutterbuck, Heatley, Weiss, and Bouchard, Palmville, Koivu, Prezi. Okay, so, I'm kind of liking those lines. I'm thinking I might use Setaguchi up here, just because he is a four-star yellow. And if he does well this season, he could get a lot better than he is right now. So, we're going to use that. And then Bouchard's left wing, yeah. So, we'll put him on the third line with Cullen and Clutterbuck. And for the defense, we got Suter, Spiza, Clark, Gilbert, and then Stoner and Spurgeon. Um, in a perfect world, I'd have Clark over here, and then I'd have another defenseman over here, where Stoner is. That's obviously better. Um, but the thing is, we only have $2 million in salary. And, and yeah, so it's going to be tough to move him for someone who can play a top four. So for right now, we're just going to do what they say. And yeah, those are going to be the lines, and let's just quickly look at the HL, and make sure all these prospects are there. I'm just going to edit these really quickly. Okay, so I put Zucker, Granlin, and Coyle on the first line, and we got Phillips and McMillan. Um, yeah, everyone else pretty much uh, doesn't really have a, a guaranteed spot. So then, and then we got Brodine, Falk, Kuma, and Prosser as our top four. And then for goalies, let me just quickly, yeah, I'm going to use Kempfer instead of Curry, because Curry... Yeah, he's 28 years old, don't really need him. And then Kempfer, at least he's a three-star goalie. <laughs> Maybe by a miracle he'll he'll turn into something. So, and let's just quickly look at the Stewart guy. Yeah, so nothing special there. Uh, yeah, that's going to be our AHL lines. So, for Minnesota, go back here. Yeah, so let me know about what do you think about these lines so far. I mean, obviously, we couldn't really do much given the salary cap situation, but I think we filled a pretty big hole in the second-line center in Steven Weiss. And a top four slash top two defenseman in Spiza. All right, so uh, I want to keep it at two trades, but let me know if there's a trade I can make. You think before the before I start simming uh, for Stoner or you know a prospect something like that. So what the hell is that? Look, the the menu like glitched out. <laughs> it's like it's only showing me three guys at a time. Wow, that's pretty weird. Never seen. Anyways, anyways. So yeah, Stoner would be the only thing uh, to trade for. So probably Stoner and like a prospect for a guy who can fit into our number two defensive pair. And then I can move Clark with Spurgeon on the third pair. And then Spurgeon would be on the power play. Yeah, so let me know if there's a top six defenseman or top four defenseman that you think I should get instead of Stoner. We have two point, oh, we have pretty much two million on the dot plus Stoner's salary that we could trade away uh, to get that player. And all the prospects, I'll just quickly go to the the trade screen here. So these are the guys we have right now. I'm looking to, to get another top four or top six defenseman to play instead of Stoner. And these are the things, this is this is the trade bait, so to speak. Um, once the season starts, I'm not going to make any trades until the trade deadline. So if I were to do it, it happened now. And then we'd start simming until the trade deadline and see what our team needs to work on there. We will finish editing the lines in the next video. This is really just a startup video for the GM mode. Uh, you got to see some of the rosters. I made two pretty big trades, I'd say. So yeah, let me know what you thought of the trades. Uh, but not so much that. Uh, who would you? Who do you think we should go for now? Or do you think we should just stay with... What's his name? Clayton Stoner as our... As our last defenseman. I mean, he's got a pretty sick last name, so I might want to just keep him. But yeah, who do you think we should trade for as a defenseman right now? And yeah, I'm looking forward to this series, guys. Hopefully you are too. And hopefully we can do some damage with the Minnesota Wild.